This video will describe JP wound care that I recommend for my patients. Here's a drawing of a JP drain coming out of a wound. There's the tubing and then there's the bulb. This is what a drain looks like before it's placed in the surgical wound. Here's a drain that's been placed in the wound. You can see the tubing exits away from the incision and leads to the bulb. Here you can see a drain a few days after surgery. You can see there's some drainage in the bulb. The bulb is charged and the bulb is clipped onto the clothing so that it's not hanging by the tubing and pulling on the patient's skin. You can see this patient has supported the bulb with a necklace he made out of yarn. I'll demonstrate stripping the drain you hold on to the drain with one hand so you're not pulling directly on the skin and then with the other hand you pinch the tubing and slide your fingers down to strip and milk the contents toward the bulb. Stripping the drain helps prevent clots from plugging the tubing. To empty the drain you take off the seal and you pour the drainage into some sort of a measuring cup which you can record in your drain diary and then you recharge the bulb and replace the seal so that it's sucking again. Keep in mind that for a drain to work by generating suction it has to be charged like this. When a bulb is full of air and has a rounded shape like shown here it is no longer generating suction. If a charged bulb loses its charge, filling up with air, that indicates the presence of a leak. I hope this helps.